In a world where souls grow like gardens, the last soul gardener tends to a vast, lush expanse. Each plant represents a soul, and the gardener nurtures them with care and love, singing an ancient melody. In the heart of the garden, a worrying sight unfolds. Some plants, once vibrant and full of life, now droop and fade, their colors dimming under a shadowy blight. The soul gardener, filled with concern, decides to seek ancient wisdom from the wisps of the forest. Through the dense forest, the soul gardener treks, guided by the whispers of the wind. The path, illuminated by bioluminescent flowers, leads to the heart of the forest where the ancient wisps reside, guardians of age-old secrets. In the forest's sacred grove, the gardener finds the wisps, ethereal beings of light and wisdom. They float around, their gentle glow casting a calming aura. The gardener explains the plight, and the wisps listen intently, their lights flickering with concern. The wisps reveal that the blight is an ancient curse, forgotten by time. To cure it, the gardener must seek the heart of the forest, a mystical entity embodying the forest's life force. It's a journey fraught with challenges, but necessary to heal the soul gardens. The gardener returns to the garden, gathering rare herbs and enchanted waters. They prepare a small satchel of essentials, knowing the road ahead is uncertain. As night falls, the garden's creatures gather, sensing the importance of the quest. At dawn, the gardener sets out, their resolve firm, the garden's creatures bid farewell, some offering gifts of seeds and petals. The journey to the heart of the forest is a path less traveled, shrouded in mystery and ancient magic. Crossing an enchanted meadow, the gardener encounters playful spirits that dance in the air. Curious, they swirl around, their laughter like chimes. The gardener smiles, momentarily forgetting the worries of the blight. Further on, the gardener reaches a river that whispers secrets of the past. Each ripple tells a story, each wave a memory. The gardener listens, learning from the river's wisdom, gaining insight into the nature of the curse. At the river's end stands the Bridge of Echoes, an ancient structure said to connect the present with the past. Crossing it requires courage as one faces their deepest fears. The gardener steps onto the bridge, ready to confront what lies ahead. Beyond the bridge lies the forest of whispers, where trees speak of lost tales. The gardener listens to their murmurs, guided by their wisdom. Each tree shares a piece of the puzzle, slowly revealing the path to the heart of the forest. In a moonlit clearing, the gardener encounters a wise old owl who speaks of the heart's guardians. To reach it, one must pass three trials of truth, of courage, and of love. The owl's eyes gleam with ancient knowledge as it flies away. The first trial, a cavern where illusions challenge reality. Here, the gardener faces deceptive shadows, searching for truth among lies. With wisdom and discernment, they dispel the illusions, passing the trial with newfound clarity. Next, a gorge where fierce winds howl. The gardener must cross a narrow, swaying bridge, confronting fears and doubts. With each step, their resolve strengthens, overcoming the trial with unwavering bravery. The final trial, a serene garden where the gardener's past and present converge. Here, they face their deepest emotions, understanding that true love lies in letting go. With a heart full of love, they complete the trial, moving closer to the heart. Trials behind, the gardener enters a realm of vibrant beauty, where the heart of the forest pulses with life. Its glow beckons, a harmonious symphony of nature's essence, signaling the nearing end of the quest. At the heart's core, 
the gardener meets its guardian, a majestic creature embodying the forest's spirit. The guardian assesses the gardener's journey, acknowledging their trials and tribulations with a nod of respect. The guardian grants the gardener access to the heart. Its energy, pure and potent, surges through the gardener, imbuing them with the power to heal the blight. The connection is profound, a union of spirit and nature. With the heart's blessing, the gardener returns to the garden. Each step homeward is filled with hope. As they re-enter the garden, the blighted plants begin to revive, their colors returning brighter than before. The garden flourishes, each soul plant vibrant and strong. The gardener, now a guardian of ancient wisdom, continues to nurture the garden. The story ends with a sense of peace and harmony as the cycle of care and growth continues. <laughs>